folks, I'm Benno. Welcome to the shed. G'day guys, how you going? Just thought I'd give you a rundown on the uh, equipment that I'm using. I'm shooting this on a GoPro 7 Black, uh, manual settings. Uh, ISO at 200. Uh, white balance is set at 5000 Kelvin. And the shutter speed is at 1 24th of a second. Uh, that seems to work quite well under these uh, artificial lighting conditions in here, in the shed. Okay, so what else do I use? Well, firstly, I do use, I use a number of different GoPros. I use the, the black. I use this GoPro 7 Silver, which is not a bad camera. Uh, it's what I usually use to shoot in the, um, in the shed. It seems to work quite well. It's a fully automatic system, so it's... Um, not great for varying light uh, conditions where you've got you know, going from light shadow to, to bright light a lot. It, uh, the ISO just jumps all over the place and the white balance jumps all over the place and makes for a horrible film. Um, I do still use this old uh, Hero 3 Plus Silver. Um, great camera in its day. I use that mostly now for um, stuff where I'm not terribly worried about losing the camera or damaging the camera. I have a, a Nikon uh, D5200. It's a great camera for, um, for stills. It's okay for video, but uh, not brilliant. Not, uh, and its battery life when you're using it on video is pretty, pretty ordinary. Microphone is, well, you can see down here, um, I'm using the uh, Rode Micro. I think that's what it's called. Um, and I do use it sometimes for motor vlogging. Not that I do a lot of motor vlogging, um, but with this massive great dead cat on it, it, um, it works really, really well. Great microphone, I recommend that to anyone. I'll probably need to get a smaller microphone. I'll probably get the smaller uh, road version for, uh, for motor vlogging. Um, over here, I have my remaining drone. It's a unique uh, Q500 Typhoon, and that has a, here we go, we get this camera out, a CGO2 camera, which is a ball camera, um, mounted on its own gimbal. So that works really quite well. Um, it's a powered gimbal. It also gives you a an up and down view from with the camera. So that's it's not uh, what do you call it? It's it's a good camera. It's not a great camera. Um, doesn't give you the ability to manually control your uh, your ISO and light settings and white balance and all that sort of thing. It's a fully automatic camera, but doesn't do a bad job. What else have I got here? With the um, drone and CGO2. You can also use this handheld device. It's a battery powered handheld device. Clip the gimbal to it and if you're not flying you get beautiful stabilised video with that device. It occasionally has trouble pairing to the phone. Um, or you can use use it and pair it to the um, the flight controller, which works which works probably better than pairing it to the phone. Uh, what else have we got here? I use use my phone. Use the phone on that occasionally, but not a lot. I usually use that, or I'll grab that for around the back here, which I'm using right now. Um, is a uh, was it? I can't remember what it's called. It's a tablet of some description. Um, it's an iPad, iPad 9. Um, I use that for remote controlling the cameras through Wi Fi. Um, cameras other than the CGO2. So that's the GoPro Black, Black Silver, uh, sorry, the 7 Silver or the GoPro 3. Um, I've got this. Controller for the microphone uh, for the microphone for the uh, for the drone has its own 
view screen or phone or whatever you like to call it in there. Uh, a little tablet. Works brilliantly. And that's about it. Also down here, I'm going to have to move the microphone so bear with me. I use uh, just a selection of GoPro arms so I can do different position things differently. Currently I'm using it for the microphone. as a microphone stand which I don't have one as yet. I uh, think that's about it. Oh, here we go. Battery back up. I think it's particularly if you're going to be using a uh, uh, GoPro 7 Black, because the battery life is really crap on them. Um, a battery pack of some description um, is magnificent. I use it for powering the GoPros for extended periods of time, recharging my phone when I'm out on the go uh, or on the bike. Um, yeah, I'd use it for lots of things. This one is actually set up for the GoPro 3. Uh, clips onto the back of the waterproof housing. And uh, you can still use your GoPro underwater if you wanted to in that waterproof housing. Works quite well. I get about five hours of uh, video time from this and the onboard battery on the GoPro 7 Black. So that actually works a treat. We've got our standard little microphone lead uh, that comes with the with the road, and I'm using an extension lead now, so it's basically the same type of lead, it's just longer. Yeah, so that's about it, guys. Uh, that's, about, that's what I use. Uh, still learning to use a lot of the stuff properly. Uh, yeah, well, I hope that's. Uh, hope you enjoyed that little bit of vid. So if you haven't subscribed and you're watching this, yeah, hit the subscribe button, chuck us a like and uh, drop us a line. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Okay, catch you later, guys.